All right, we're back with sports. The MAIS football season is officially 18 days away when all teams will be back on the field. And that includes the Tri-County Academy Rebels. Last season was one, the, was one for the books at Tri-County. They end the season on top, win the 4A state championship, their first in program history at that level. Head coach Philip Watson is back to lead the Rebels for a possible repeat in 4A. The Rebels are known for a good defense and a strong running game, but this year, we may see Tri-County open up their offense more than ever. You know, I think we got a lot of receivers and we got a really good quarterback and uh, we're going to have to get to these playmakers. So we're going to have to throw the ball a little bit or not a little bit, a lot more than we've ever thrown it and get, just get it to those guys and let them make plays. And defensively, we're going to have to blitz a little bit more. So so we're excited about throwing a little bit more and the kids are. So we're going to, you know, have to get better every, each and every week. All right, the Rebels will be hosting a Jamboree next Thursday night next Thursday night before their season starts as well. There are a number of programs who nearly clinched championships last season as well. One of the state runner ups were the Hartfield Academy Hawks. Hartfield used a big winning streak to open up last season to power them all the way to the 6A MAIS state championship game. It was the first state final under head coach Greg Craig Bowman, who is entering his third season at Hartfield. Some early success in his tenure. The Hawks did lose a lot of veteran talent on both sides of the ball, but their head coach believes they'll pick up where they left off and can finally do what they need to do to bring that first 6-8 MAIS football title to Hartfield. Getting to that game last year in 6A was a lot of fun for us. It was a huge program builder for us. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's one day at a time. We haven't changed our culture. We haven't changed our processes. Uh, these guys want to get back to that game, but but they understand that, that what we do today echoes for the rest of the season. I thought defensively, they, they couldn't do any more than I asked for. Uh, and I feel like our defense is just getting better and better. But yeah, offensively, I think we just gotta be able to be way more aggressive vertically. We've tried to install some of those things and we'll, we'll see how that shakes out in a few weeks. We will, as the season will kick off, just a couple of weeks for MAIS football. All right, that'll do it for sports. We'll be back after this.